What is up everyone? Welcome to today's reaction video and today's reaction is the special monthly request of my incredible Patreon follower Jess aka Ferret Mom. Jess, thank you so so much for your continued support, for being a part of the herd and for this request today, which is a chance for me to get more Ren in front of me. I've been loving every single Ren song I've heard so far and I'm sure this one's going to be no exception because everyone has been telling me that I need to get into Money Game 1, 2, and 3. And from what I understand, if they don't come up sooner, Jess is going to give me the opportunity to hear Money Games 1, 2, and 3. So that may change. I It's, it's always her choice, but from what she has said so far, it seems like she really wants me to see these ones. So I can't wait. Uh, we're going to get into this right now. As always, guys, please check out the original video. That is linked in the description below. Give it a like, give it a comment, subscribe to Ren if you haven't already. And this is Ren's song, Money Game. It's a strange time we're living in, book and put fear in. Hierarchy parties, they make us feel inferior. Greed one straight, parliament in tears. Straight off, straight right from the beginning, Ren always has such interesting video clips and I love the fact that it's like no two Ren songs sound the same. He is always so unique with every song and you never know what you're getting yourself into. Uh, I'm going to turn on the captions for this one because I want to understand what he's saying a bit better. But yeah, it, he is, every single song of his feels unique and fresh and I love it. <laughs> It's a strange time we're living in Bulk and put fear in Hierarchy parties, they make us feel inferior Greed runs straight, parliament interiors Devils walk among us, they fit the criteria Eerie, dairy, stripe, fearing, weary-minded men When we're clearly living in dictatorships Nearly blinded by illusions The truth, who's fooling who? A pulled chain to your shoes, I'm pain It's a crying shame The pursuit of our own wealth lights a flame And makes greed the game The less this whole world Good line, as the world turn, the whole world burns. I love Ren's film clips always have this incredible way of the imagery they use just manages to make you feel a little, if not very uncomfortable. Like this whole scene here is just the, the, the like rainproof jacket he's wearing, the fact that he's got someone tied up there, it's very serial killer vibes and it's very creepy. Um, but the, the, the lyrics so far are absolutely fire. It's going to take me a couple of listens to this to grab them all, but he is coming for blood. As the world turns, the whole world burns. But money was invented for trade But now those bits of paper Twist hearts make slaves Turns a saint into a sinner A child into a killer His finger on the trigger of a money game Oh, rain, 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 rain A storm, it comes our way And those who rise through distorted lies Poison in the veins But we die to point the blame, 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 blame it's easy to blame, but point the mirror at ourselves. We're all part of this old money game. Stop. Sir, you stop. You stop right there. <laughs> um, I, there, there was so much there that I feel like I've missed stuff because already he dropped a line right at the end there where it was uh, before he came in with that gorgeous singing about that. The money turns a child, uh, it turns a saint to a sinner and a child to a killer with his finger on the trigger. Brilliant writing, first of all. That is such a, gr like the way he set that up was just brilliant. But then for him to just come in after that with those what are ohs, I always forget when Ren starts his songs in that kind of rap slash spoken word version that he does, that this kid can sing as well. Like he has a stunning singing voice and then he comes in with those choruses or the, like the different parts of the songs and suddenly I'm like, oh my God, that's right. Yeah, that is right. His voice just hits you and it's stunning. Uh, and yeah, the, the, the entire lyrics to this song are just 
brilliantly written. I don't think Ren's ever written a song where I, where I heard the lyrics and I was like, uh, there, like, I, it's only my third song of his I've heard, but each one has been like absolutely fire lyrics. Subway and those who rise through distorted lines, poison in the veins, but we die to point the blame, 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 blame. It's easy to blame, but point the mirror at ourselves. We're all part of this old money game. Stop. That was so, like, mm. he does things that you just don't expect and see coming in a film clip. And I'm so curious. I've got to go listen to the original, like the, not the original, but the audio version of this song now, like on Spotify. Does he leave that giant pause in there? Because like, I wouldn't think that he would, but then I've listened because I've got it in my playlist now. I've listened to uh, like Hyren. And at the end of that, the spoken word version where he says those really, really deep things that I thought were just for the YouTube clip is like an outro uh, on the audio track on Spotify as well. And I was like, oh, like he, he, this is a part of the song that he wanted everyone to hear. Um, and this is the same thing. I'm so curious if like he has intentionally left that giant pause in there where you're kind of hanging on and expecting the next bit and then the slap of the glove and the song keeps going. President, it's evident that everyone's a resident of fear when they support these ideas to keep us separate. When they make us believe that everybody is coming to terrorize you in the streets, they say Bradley through grit and teeth. That's my right to hate. That's freedom of speech. <sighs> but when did freedom become a reason to hate, a way to justify a racist slur or insult we make? There's an irony in freedom. Ooh, that was good. I, I am not going to get, I don't want to get into politics. I do not want to get into politics at all. But the, the line there about that's freedom of speech, but when did freedom become a reason to, what was it? <laughs> when, when did freedom reason to hate or become a reason to hate? Wait to justify a racist slur or in when did freedom become, uh, when did freedom become a reason to hate a way to justify a racist slur so we make. There's an or insult we make? Damn. My God. God, he is spitting bars and fire because I've always had, I've had the belief for the longest time because we have, we have a fair degree of freedom of speech over here as well. Like we, it, it, it's, it's not a foreign concept to me. You can say what you like, but a lot of people don't seem to grasp that freedom of speech is not freedom from repercussions. At the end of the day, if you're being racist to a coworker in your workplace, you still get fired. You know, if you're, if you're, you know, insulting women out in public, you still could get kicked out of that Starbucks that you're in, you know, because you deserve it because you don't need to be throwing that stuff around and no amount of freedom of speech, in my opinion, justifies that kind of behavior. Freedom of speech is not a freedom from respect, from the, the responsibility of having respect for the people around you. You know, you can, you can say you have freedom of speech all you want, but if you're swearing around little kids and their parents are getting annoyed at you, that parent's justified. Like you can see a little kids there. I'm an Australian. We swear our heads off. We still try not to do it around little kids, but either way, um, that line just is brilliantly written and hits the nail on the head. But when did freedom become a reason to hate? A way to justify a racist slur or insult we make? There's an irony in freedom, cause us in the West We have pillaged and put the murder that's have a discolor and that's of the rest That's called hypocrisy Preach a certain value that you never keep yourselves Your country was in flames, you denigrate yourselves in a second Still you spit your venom, demonizing immigrants When really you're the immigrant, cause all of us are immigrants Or descended from immigrants, irony is imminent I'll shed the light on immigrants, America was colonized by Britain 
Britain, it was colonised by Rome. And also colonised by the Saxons. They were German, by the way. You know how people throw shade upon the Germans because of history's pain, and yet we make the same mistakes all the game. Demonise a whole people, Jewish or Muslim, the same and the same. Old situations play on repeat. The same old TV shows repeat. Yeah, we worship the bleak. Our opinions aren't our own, and we follow like sheep. There's no left, there's no right. In the middle, we sleep. Right. Damn! I'm not even going to try and unpack all that. I'm going to just say two things. Number one, Bren completely gets it. He completely understands because everything he just said about that immigration train and that conquering train, on the money. And yo, we have the same thing here in Australia that you guys, or a very similar thing to what you guys have over in America. You have your Native Americans who, you know, when America was colonized, kind of got the raw end of the stick. And we have the exact same thing here with when Australia was colonized, the Aboriginal people and the First Nations people of our country got the raw end of the stick. And still, it's like we're throwing bread crumbs back to, anyway. Anyway, like I said, trying to avoid getting political here, but Ren is just coming for absolute blood. And the way that he has written these lines and these flows, Lynn manuel Miranda could never. Like, the, 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 the way this is written is giving me those kind of same vibes because the flow and the beat of it keeps changing up in the pace that Ren is rapping. But he is just killing it. Rain, 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 a storm it comes our way. And those who rise through distorted lives, poison in the veins. But we'd like to point the blame, 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 blame. It's easier to blame, but point the mirror at ourselves. We're all part of this old money game. your eyes on the mask. I can't tell you how much I was holding my breath just then trying to work out what he was doing. I didn't know if he'd stabbed the guy and he was going to be covered in red all of a sudden. This is what I'm talking about with Ren with his film clips is to elicit that kind of a response of genuine fear for this Guitarist safety, this hostage's safety. He's damn good with his clips. They're confronting, but they are good. <laughs> Okay, Ren, I see you. I see you there with the arms coming out of the singlet. Was not expecting this to be the turn that it takes. Um, giving me serial killer meets stripper and I'm, I'm here for it. Let's go. Arms 
four days. Oh damn. I just realized what he's recreating. And I'm concerned. Like obviously we're not about to see Ren set himself on fire here, but um <laughs> No, no. That was so much. <laughs> I genuinely feel like I need to go back and watch the, like, not watch the, I, I feel like I first need to go back and listen to the whole thing again without watching it. Just listen. Because my brain was just so concerned with everything that was going on there in the video that I could only half take in the lyrics. And then at the same time, I then want to go back and rewatch the clip being comfortable in the lyrics. Because, like, that clip had so much to it. It low-key felt like watching a horror movie. And it was nuts. Jeez Louise. I don't even know what to say about that. Other than, like, lyrically, Ren is a genius. Absolute genius. And I don't, like, I do use that word lightly quite often, but... In this situation, I am not using that word lightly. Lyrically, an absolute genius. Vocally, stunning. And in terms of creativity, the only person I can even come close to comparing the creativity that's in Ren's video clips to would be someone like Billie Eilish with her creepy horror videos. Uh, but even on that level, Ren is not afraid. Where, where hers are more family friendly, Ren is not afraid to have moments in his videos that make you genuinely uncomfortable. And it just pushes his points even further. He's absolutely bonkers. I can't wait to see part two and part three of this because this was nuts. Guys, as always, please check out the original video linked in the description below. Give Ren a like, give him a comment, subscribe to him if you haven't already. Come back here and give me a like and a comment and subscribe to me if you haven't because it helps out the channel so, so, so much. I can't even begin to tell you. Uh, also, check me out over on Patreon. I run weekly polls for uh, two reactions a week. I also do two weekly TV show reactions over there, a monthly movie reaction, a, uh, a whole bunch of other stuff, a monthly live stream. And I also, at the highest tier, you can get a guaranteed monthly request right here on the channel like Jess did today. So check all of that out. I will see you all in the next reaction video. Have a great day, night, morning, evening, afternoon, whatever time zone you're in, and I'll see you next time. Bye.